Hey everybody, it's John here again with Greenfish Nation. Wanted to talk to you a little bit today about tackle management. Went over to Academy yesterday and they had uh, pretty much everything in the fishing section on sale for uh, Black Friday. And I decided that, uh, you know, it's early winter, but springtime will be here before you know it. I like to fish a lot of lizards in the spring. So I decided it was time to put together a uh, lizard specific box for the boat so i went over there and picked out uh eight of my favorite colors of lizards so i wanted to go over how i do this with you guys so stay tuned and we'll get to putting this box together all right guys i went out there and picked up uh eight of my favorite lizard colors i i like the zoom six inch lizard i got a uh Got a black chartreuse pack. This is a uh, watermelon red in the six inch. And I've got a uh, just a watermelon chartreuse. It's also in the six, six inch bait. Uh, this is a color I haven't really tried before. It's, uh, it's called baby bass. Now I've thrown it with uh, flukes and stuff like that in that color. Um, it, works really good with that uh, Senkos and flukes so I expect it'll work pretty good with this lizard here's a here's another color of lizard I've not thrown but I've thrown it again in flukes and stuff and it's it's kind of like a watermelon red but it's a little darker it's called California 420 it works real good on our local lakes had good luck with it in flukes and uh, pitching bugs as well as Senkos. Here's an old standby for uh, Tawakini. It's gonna be a June bug red. That works really good on Tawakini. Got just a plain black six inch lizard. And then last but not least, just a plain old fashioned green pumpkin. So we're gonna put these in our box. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about our, our box that we have here. Um, I use these uh, these boxes here. They're the Flambeau. Uh, they're pretty uh, they're pretty price effective. You know, you can get these boxes your local uh, department store, discount store, whatever you gonna call it. Uh, we use Walmart a lot. You can buy these boxes for about five bucks a piece. Uh, you can buy the Plano boxes, the same style. They're about $10 a piece. And then you can buy the the real nice Plano boxes. Uh, they're about 20 bucks a piece. So you get what you pay for. Uh, the problems that you'll have with this box, if your boat doesn't seal good, is you'll get a little bit of moisture uh, in any of your baits and you kind of have to keep them dried out but for the price you can't beat them uh anything that you have that has salt in it you're going to have an issue with it drawing moisture any of your plastics whether you know your boat seals good or not you're you're going to have a little bit of an issue depending on the humidity where you live at so guys what i've done here with this box as you can see let me bend y'all down a little bit i have uh trying to get me and you in the camera. May not work. So what I've done is I've just divided this box into eight slots and these little slots come in and out. They just got a little place that you put them back in there and you can, so you can divide it several different ways. I've got multiple boxes. I like to keep all my baits separate. Some people do it by type. Some people do it by color. That's totally up to you. But this works for me and what I do is after I get it done, I bring it around here. It's got a perfect little place right here. It's got a place where you can label that. And again, I'll show you all that in a minute when we when we go out to the boat. Uh, so real important, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of move you guys over here to the side and I'm gonna bend you down here and, and show you some things that I think are real important about doing uh, when you do this. So you guys hang on and stay tuned. All right, guys, it only took a couple minutes. We uh, we got all of our lizards in there. I got eight different colors. 
Um, I kind of arranged them from, uh, I don't know, from light to dark. Uh, you'll see here, if you look in this box, you'll see how everything's arranged. Um, this is one bag in each compartment here. You could probably put up to three bags pretty easy without, without putting anything in a bind there, um, and have plenty of storage. So that'd give you about 30 lizards of each color in each box. So that should take anybody through a through a day of fishing, you know, on any one particular color, if you go through 30 lizards in a day, you're, you're really, uh, you're really setting a hook on some fish. Uh, but if you guys will stay tuned, we'll go out and we'll look at the boat and I'll show you kind of how I manage my tackle in the boat. So. All right, guys, thank y'all for staying with us on this video here. We're talking about tackle organization. Um, apologize if it's a little windy out here. Uh, I want to show you guys kind of what I've got here for my, my tackle organization in my boat. I keep all of my soft baits and my hard baits in those tackle boxes that we talked about, those flambo. I've got a couple of uh, different boxes for my hooks and my weights, and we'll talk about that. All right, guys, you can see here I've got uh, three three columns of, uh, of bait boxes. Uh, you can see each one of these has got a label on it that tells me what's in there. I got topwater crankbaits, uh, crankbaits, frogs, glide baits. If you guys can see that, chatterbait, jerkbait, more crankbaits, Senkos, Ned rigs, Magnum worms. Because my little girl thinks if you throw big worms, you catch big fish. So we got some big 13-inch mans in there. Curly tails. This box is a new box. It's not labeled, but it has some swim baits in it uh like glide bait type swim baits we got creature baits i've got kitex and these are the boxes i was telling you about for my weights and my my hooks we'll talk about those in a minute this is the brand new box that we just done for the uh lizards i've got my jigs flukes swim baits trick worms trick worms throw a lot of uh trick worms here uh flipping bugs and then we've got uh scum frogs and there's a few few other things in that scum frog box that's kind of a miscellaneous box but that's how we organize all of the tackle eventually it all goes into this hole here in the center of the boat that way everything's right there where i can get a hold of it it's all stacked in there uh edgeways with the labels all facing the same direction and facing up uh, i want to talk to you guys about my box that i have here for my hooks, it is a Plano box. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't recall the number, uh, but it is a, it's a thin Plano box. It also has the, actually it's a model 3740-1. Uh, I'll try to link all this stuff in the description down at the bottom for you guys. But this box has a, uh, has a rubber seal around the edge of it. And that keeps your, uh, keeps all your hooks and, and weights from getting any any moisture in there with them. It has a triple latch on it. Uh, this also goes in the uh, storage area for uh, the, pla the soft plastics and the hard baits as well. I'll open this hook box up, try not to spill it everywhere, but just kind of kind of show you guys how I have, have all my hooks arranged. Uh, I don't have near as many hooks as some people. Some people may have a box for each type of hook, uh, have different aughts and gaps and things like that. I mean, you can, you can take this tackle storage and micromanage it as much as you want. You just have to do what works for you. Uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've, I've enjoyed making it. I look forward to doing many more with you guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to our channel. Tell your friends about us. We're brand new. Uh, we have lots of good information and lots of good fishing video. So you guys stay tuned to Green Fish Nation. We appreciate you and tight lines.